to journalists. You're a country, not Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> and fi finally this week, we turn to Canada. It it's basically five hockey rinks surrounded by bears. <laughs> the, the Canadian Senate has recently been reeling from a political scandal. The Auditor General's report on Senate expenses has been released and it flags the accounts of 30 senators. Nearly $1 million in spending has been flagged. In some cases, Canadians paid for senators to go on golfing and fishing trips, even hockey tickets and holidays. Wow. Hockey and fishing trips. This scandal could not be any more Canadian if public money was used <laughs> to get Drake to drink maple syrup on Niagara Falls. Now, this report comes after roughly 18 months of auditors examining senators' expenses, and they have uncovered some questionable claims. Former Speaker Noel Kinsella billed $5,600 to attend a funeral with his wife. Terry Mercer charged taxpayers nearly $3,500 to attend the 100th anniversary of the Toronto Curling Club. A man named Terry going to a curling club anniversary Kudos, Canada. You made this scandal more Canadian after I explicitly said that that could not be done. Well played. Well played, Canada. And, and even though those lawmakers say they did nothing wrong, $5,600 is still a ludicrous amount to spend to attend a funeral unless you're going to some kind of three-day destination burial in Barbados. <laughs> Typical Sharon making everyone fly down here for this. <laughs> and yes, yes. Almost a million dollars of misappropriated public money is not nothing. But there was another number regarding this story which Canada might want to take a close look at. It cost $23.6 million to conduct this audit, which only found less than $1 million of questionable expenses. A source tells Global News auditors were brought out of retirement to complete the 18-month investigation. The cost of the audit is so much because of how thorough auditors are being demanding receipts for everything from postage stamps to breakfasts. How the hell do you spend nearly $24 million auditing stamps and breakfasts? <laughs> Canada, I think you've forgotten what a scandal is. And may I remind you that Rob Ford, your crack-smoking mayor, <laughs> is still currently sitting on the Toronto City Council. <laughs> but, but you know what? This whole audit was actually worth it, just to provoke a single moment with Senator Nancy Ruth, because watch her angrily explain why she expensed a breakfast on a business trip instead of eating the complimentary meal provided on the plane. And they say I should have not claimed because I should have eaten that breakfast. Well, those breakfasts are pretty awful. If you want ice cold camembert with broken crackers, have them. <laughs> now, listen. Let, let this be a lesson to all politicians. It is hard to elicit any kind of public sympathy when you're uttering a sentence that includes the word camembert. <laughs> because even if someone's yelling, help, I'm choking on camembert, it still basically sounds like they're showing off. <laughs> and now, this. And now, newscasters try